Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I'm with your boy, Stars, and we are getting in to the final two matchups of Split One Masters. Stars, it is coming down to this. It's coming down to the wire. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. We have Yappers coming up against BKO. We have the one of the EU Titans going against one of the Titans of NA. It's going to be a crazy match. And like you were saying during the break, what's this grand final going to be if it's NA? Well, a lot of the players in Burts and VKO know each other quite well and, uh, you know, all part of the same Discord server for scrims, so it's going to be a very intense fight if we do see BKO moving into the Grand Finals. But the number one thing is for Yappers is that they have to be able to keep up. This is going to be a rematch, and Yappers did beat BKO earlier today in the first matchup, or sorry, the second matchup in the win winner's semifinals. So now it's down to this here in the loser's finals. We see these two people head up again and again and again. This time it's for the money, for the chance at the money. Yeah, no, I'm excited to see what we're going to get here. Still waiting on the map bands to come through for the channel. But who do you have winning this? Who do I have winning this? Well, the thing is, is that Yappers have already beaten BKO, right? But the thing is, is that Yappers, they had to have been watching the fight between LRC and BKO. They had to have watched that to see what BKO is doing. If they didn't watch that match, they are going to be at a slight disadvantage because I know for a fact that BKO was watching Burts versus Yappers because we had Gremlin here in the chat making sure that <laughs> he knew we were here watching and that they were there studying. And this is BKO. This is a team that studies, that communicates, that tries to do their best to figure out the way in. And if we see Dimov still staying on that light shotgun, we could be in for a world of hurt for Yappers. Hey, who knows? Because... All right, well, I'm just going to say this right now. Yo, know, if you are on an open map, triple shotgun is not the wave. <laughs> like, get some type of range in there. <laughs> exactly, because like, the... The thing is, is that you you enter this negative feedback loop or this positive feedback loop that you shouldn't be in where you get a really nice cash out that's nice and cozy and cuddled in that you can hide your light in to get an opening pick to hit that stun gun to get your team in. But if you're on an open map, there might only be one of those cash outs and you need at least two to take the map win. Yeah, it was just so interesting to see because you just have yappers just sending it. And it was working a little bit. But it, when it came to, like, for example, construction, where it was just open area pushing into the area or hospital trying to push into the area, it wasn't working because guess what? You can't provide counter fire that allows you to push up. You can't get rid of the pressure. So you're out here being pressured while you're trying to push towards the objective. It, it's just not a good time. <laughs> Because exactly. now you're wasting time. It's a very difficult situation to be in if you're not able to retain full control. And so when we jump in, I'm very curious to see what maps they are deciding to go for. Uh, right now, I'm looking at the lobby, and I think I see Las Vegas being uh, pulled for map one. And this is exactly what we saw before with uh, with Burtz and Yappers. And remember, that we saw that Burtz and Yappers, when they were on Vegas, they had the Sandstorm variant. There's no way for us to guarantee if Sandstorm is coming through, but if it is Sandstorm, I'm a little bit worried for Team Yappers. If we take a look at this, BKO was the one that picked Vegas because they see the potential. In Yappers, they pick Skyway Stadium because they know how they did against BKO earlier today on Skyway Stadium. The decider being on Sis Horizon is just icing on the cake because I can guarantee you it is going to be going to Sis Horizon today. Yeah, it's I, just look at the bands. Like, I find it interesting that Yappers ban Soul because if they want to run this comp, yes, there is long sight lines, but it's a lot easier to push on this map with those shotties rather than going to Skyway Stadium, which they just lost on using that comp because Skyway is more open ground compared to Soul, where all the cash outs are going to be in buildings. All the cash outs are going to be in the buildings and most importantly, all of the cash outs are going to be in places where each team will have the ability to find a unique 
form for their composition. And I'm very, very excited to see that Demov is actually switching with Bone. And Demov is pulling out the charge and slam heavy right now. This is insanity because we've now seen Demov as the only player in this tournament series to have played medium, light, and heavy all at the same time. If we switch off of the map bands graphic right now, we're going to be jumping right into the game here while Gremlins... Uh, Gremlin's team tries to find their way in. Uh, we are still on the map bands graphic. Yeah, we're yeah. Twitch is um is tr Twitch is loading in very very slowly. Oh, there we go. Production, <laughs> production. We're still production. We're there. We go. All hey, right. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We were still loading in. We were still loading in. <laughs> and we've got so what we've got right now is we've got yappers setting up on ultimate height here oh. for this fight. And oh, what is this? Are we seeing flashbangs with Mickey oh, Ob and Gremlin the BKO? The what room. are you pulling out? Hey, they're pulling out all the stops here. Hey, listen, they they're trying to go ahead and screw them over because listen if they're playing shot because they have to get close so if you flash them now they're not going to know where they're going and they're just going to be lost they're in the sauce trying to find a way around to they're, they're, get they're, they're to the person like as you can see right here i see and the number one thing to call out about what is the what the play will be it's going to be gremlins finding his use with the charge and slam early on with the jump pads get that insane damage and i think we're going to be able to find that right now as we see gremlin and Dimov both slamming each other out and it's actually going to be yappers that go out first but Dimov able to sustain just a little bit Gremlin going out here now, takes out Bone, big slam. Yappers might have the upper hand, but no, I believe it's fight. just going to be up to this. Rest in, rest in, That's going to be a team wipe here, I believe. What are you no, doing? No, Yapper still has one more. Yapper still has one more. And no, it's going to be out. There's another res. And there we go. Yappers is Why? finally. Wait, still alive. No, okay. He's out. He's out. Okay. That's a team wipe. Uh, <laughs> what an insane fight there. Why would you go back in to try and get a reset or revive? That that makes no sense to me because you already lost team fight. You're one down at that point. Like you're just going to go ahead and see. You're basically just looking for the reset because there's no way you're gonna win that team fight. You have you're gonna have BKO basically trying to get a revive on their third man, and you're just basically fighting a two v one until the full res comes out. It's not instantaneous like it used to be like a, a few patches ago. Absolutely, and uh, unfortunately, one thing I'm looking at here is uh, I believe that there is a slight hey, right, 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 right. in the streams oh, there we up go. the top. Uh, Twenty. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit better now. I. Think think that uh, as we get underway, cash out A halfway through, still in control of BKO. And Oppenheimer and Gremlin both going to go out here. This is huge for Yappers. And I, unfortunately, I do believe that this means it's just going to be Mickey standing. He will not be able to res his team, but they will have the chance to coin back in, stay close in on Vegas right now. It's super important for them to be able to play together as close as possible. And we're in the short, we're in the short tiny little hallways of vegas and we're not seeing the triple shotguns anymore we've actually got gremlin on the lewis gun we've got mickey on the ak and I'm, i need to see how they decide to approach this fight cash out a might be getting split through as gremlin and mickey come up from the top here but remember yappers sitting on the on height as well they're one floor above the steel gonna try to get started here soon and as soon as it gets started the glitches will go through the flashbangs as well and we see the rpg shot go as well demon oh, no, he gets padded up and that's gonna be a charge and slam victory here for on, for the other side as off goes out here Grem and mickey get kills but get traded out oppenheimer's gonna come back it's just demov left standing and will there be enough time to get the steal i think there is bko retains control of the cash out here and that's gonna be a bko cash out one as yappers tries to escape yeah no it's very cool to see and very interesting to see that they're just going to they're just playing for verticality they're chasing like it was just one long brawl that's still going on up slamming down to there's Am no I... way they're still fighting <laughs> no bro it, it's just a long brawl like you're in the bar right now it's, it's just a whole fight going on with everyone just and getting mad still getting hasn't angry. Been a wipe. 
<laughs> it still hasn't wiped. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we're finally gonna go ahead and get a reset here as Gremlin and Op go ahead and go on top of the rafters, taking onto the roof of the of the Grand Hotel. I'm not quite sure what the districts are called, but I do know like what me and my friends do usually call these places when we do, when we do play ourselves. It looks like they're trying to go into the casino set up high. Um, I'm interested to see where Demov and his team are setting up. Okay, they're setting up next to the fire escape entrance of the casino here near the elevator. They're just waiting for this cash out to get set up here. And we're just gonna go ahead and play slow. Gremlin and BKO is just playing up top with the glitch barrel in hand. I think what they're looking to do is they're gonna go ahead and play for a drop. And they're gonna go ahead and set up outside. We're playing it slow, and Yappers is in control, but BKO, they have the upper hand, and they have the upper positioning. Here on height, they will be able to see. There it is. Unfortunately, they won't be able to see anymore as the flashbang hits. Dima falls off the side of the building and resets here. Another flashbang going to come through, this time hitting their whole team. Now Gremlin will be in charge of this fight here. Bone goes out, but the res is going to be able to come through. We see Gremlin go out, but the res is able to come through. We see Dima able to clear. Clean it up, but there is still one player left standing. It's and not over. Gremlin You're not finishes, getting away. Mickey goes out. Gremlin taking the fight here against Team oh. The charge and slam. That's going to be a team wipe for Yappers as BKO is able to get the soft reset, able to take control of cash out C, and let's see if they are going to get it started here soon enough. No, that was a crazy moment. I honestly thought he was about to clutch up that fight. If he didn't hit the bubble, if he hit one good shot with that with the SA shotgun, we would have been good. But it's not what overall he wasn't able to close it out as we now have BKO just going to go ahead and rotating towards C. I'm surprised they decided not oh, it's because he's a heavy. I'm over here thinking, why didn't he just go through the vent? I'm over I usually play light, so I'm like, just go through the vent, man. Yeah, well, looking at this oh, okay. next fight here, I it really like does seem like BKO like is just doing their best to bide full time. But Yappers, they have charge and slam. They could just slam through the rooftop. I think that's going to be the plan here. They don't even need to. They're going to go through the glass. We see the barricade in hand, ready to just provide cover at a moment's notice. But Gremlin Op and Mickey are already baked into their own cover here. Will they have a pad to get themselves into a good position? See Demov getting ready to open up the sidelines here. And as it gets open, they actually don't push that hole. They push the other side. They're just keeping the, the team of BKO on their feet here. No different information will come through. BKO has no idea where this fight could even start from. Yeah, Dimov and Yapper just taking their time, trying to figure out where BKO is going. They're just trying to find out and find an opening. They're looking and searching. Over they're running here out of on time stage. To, to search as well because they really need to start this fight now. There really is only enough time for one. Here it goes on seek. the floor. The cash out. The steal is going to come through, but it's not going to finish as Gremlin hops in with Oppenheimer and Mickey. But Gremlin looks like he might be taking too much damage here. What is He's happening? Not be able to he goes out, and unfortunately, <laughs> no, so is me. Oppenheimer as he gets taken. It's just going to be up to Mickey here, who's running around. With defibs in hand, they might just He's call it for this cash up. Maybe there's not enough time to finish this fight here. Situation, gonna be able to get the kill there, and that is unfortunately the end of. Oh yeah, the there's run. the wipe. Yeah, it it was a very very close match. I'm not gonna lie, it got so hectic with all the gas exp gas exploding, and then we have the rockets coming out. It was actually insane how much damage was outputted in such a short amount of time right there. There are like 12 things happening at any given time, and my small monkey brain is unable to, to retain all of this information. Stars, I'm actually like struggling to pay attention to all these team fights right now because at, every single time it's it's two charge and slams that, that happen, and I don't know which one's uh -huh. connecting more. Speaking of which, we see Gremlin getting taken out and unfortunately not in a good position to get healed. He gets res, but as soon as he gets res, Op goes down, and Mickey's out as well, and so we see Gremlin pull out the charge and slam, which gives him a little bit of sustain, oh, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do much. And he goes out again, and that's going to be another team wipe here in favor of Yappers. And that's what I love about the charge and slam is that what people don't realize is that when you do have the charge and slam, the moment you start pulling it, you actually take slightly less damage. That's why we saw him stay alive for just long enough. But the thing is, stars. 
is that it doesn't matter if your team is already dead. You've got three crosshairs <laughs> on you. Hey, hey, the way I see it, hey, it, just knock two people off the roof and then just run into the last person. Make sure you do as much damage there and get that kill. Get out. <laughs> but it ain't happening here, obviously, because unfortunately, the, everyone here is such are really good players. Exactly. We can see the Dimov is uh, getting set up here in this kitchen site. This is going to be very, very difficult for Team BKO to find their way in. And unfortunately for them, I think that the, oh, that they know. the fight is going to come to them. Gapper's actually jumps up at the top. I don't know if this was the right move. Mickey resets with the pad to take ultimate height once more. Gremlin's able to pull out the charge and slam and remove the heavy from the equation. Yikes. Moving him away just enough to get the kill on the Dimov. Now it's going to be huge damage here as situation goes down once dude, more dude, the, that's a ahead, team wipe ahead, here for yappers absolutely detrimental as they took the fight too early now it's bko in control and they have this beautiful setup already laid out for them by yappers that they are now fully in control of the pad gonna go up here and i believe I that bko the will path, choose to hold boy. this from ultimate height there it is. The ultimate height hold that, is going to come through. That. And now the question is, where is Yappers going to be resetting from? I believe they'll have to run all the way over from Argon District Plenty, yeah, as they try to make their way in. They are in the same building, and they will try to promote the, the fight from underneath. If they can get that drop, it's going to oh, work no. out. I don't think that drop connects. Yeah, they, they could have saved the second barrel is. for a fight if they had just punched out the roof there. They that That is actually breakable if you punch it. So that way oh, you can get... Here is the uh, the steel coming through, but where is BKO? <gasps> they, get they get blocked off, and the steel comes through for Yappers. This is huge because Gremlin didn't charge and slam fast enough. Now we see the kill onto Bone, but oh, unfortunately so the recharge is going to come through. The RPG not going to be doing enough damage. They need no to start the steel way. now, and the jump pad going to be canceling it. Is there enough time for the steel? Is there the a gas? wipe? The wipe, the gas. There's oh my god, situation is good for two. Got, 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 the gas is still. Here, off is outside the gas. Does he have time to get the steal? I think he has time I for the steal, and that's gonna be the steal. BKO with a last second steal takes the win. Stars, I am nauseous from that fight. <laughs> Bro, every fight with charges left. Wait, charges left. <laughs> yeah, it was just one second. Oh my god, I. Bro, I can't even, like, it was BKO. <laughs> like, like, wait, I'm so, <laughs> it's so wow. I get it. There's so much going on. Like, it's just, it's just like we're going through the multiverse of madness. That one scene from Doctor Strange where he gets just yeeted across the cosmos. <laughs> and situation almost fully clutching it up because after the, the pad fell back down or after the cash out fell back down to the pad. I realized it wasn't a team wipe. I realized that situation was still alive and he clears two and leaves just Oppenheimer standing who just barely gets that last kill. It was so close all the way to the last second stars. I think honestly, I believe if he just stayed up top, he just stayed up top, bided his time. He probably could have won it for his team right there, but just the impatience just dropping down to Try and just rush those kills. I get it. You panic in those moments. It's happened to me too. But you just got to stay calm. Know that you have the verticality, especially as a light player, and just play off that because you are a squishy. You have to play yeah. to live. And it's, it's again, it's so crazy to sort of see the, the play style change with Bone now switching to the medium, Dimov switching off of light onto the heavy, and seeing how the team is, is trying to adapt to these changes. They're so much nuance that is happening in these small fights but this is yappers losing again on vegas a map that yappers chose yeah and it looks like we missed the scoreboard once again here so we're just gonna go ahead and run it back into the lobby here um our, what is our next map again our next map was our next skyway stadium. skyway stadium yeah we'll be starting on a standard issue skyway stadium at uh at night and this is going to be very very fun to watch because again this map can either very much hurt you or very much help you if you choose to play on that heavy shotgun meta and i think that we will be seeing uh gremlin retain the lewis gun here and i think oh, the that dimov will stick to yeah, the heavy shotgun okay, okay, okay. but we're also seeing situation 
wait situation is remaining on the shotgun as well so this is insane we're having yappers on the triple shotgun <laughs> we're having uh, on the other side of things with bko we're seeing lewis gun ak and shotgun so the two hugely different play styles but uh, again, both teams retaining the charge and slam rather than going with shields. And I think that charge and slam with the full shotguns might be the dive comp that Yappers needs to take them through, but they haven't been traditionally successful on Skyway Stadium. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting to see. Um, I don't know if you noticed, last game they weren't running triple shotguns, and I want to see what they're looking to do here. Um, I think that they're... Ooh. Never mind, we have a huge in gaming coming in right here. Gremliners going in, doing huge D -ball. damage. Debuff on one HP, able to still be able to get a kill onto Oppenheimer. Absolutely oh, not wild. And there is going to be another kill here, as unfortunately Gremlin might not be able to be in a good situation here. He charges oh, he through, get he's still alive. Mickey and Op go down, and there's Gremlin, one <laughs> HP in a dream. He was really taken out. Oh. Uh, uh, unfortunately, they were over here playing hole in the wall as they just walked through and just get him behind. He thought he was safe by blocking that door, but no. Unfortunately, that RPG did a little bit too much of ca of collateral damage. Absolutely unfortunate, but it's still such a great gameplay that we're that we're seeing right now trying to figure out the best way for these teams to to collapse in on each other and you know whoever gets the the first opening kill might not even be the team that gets the win now we're looking at the cash out that's sitting above the kitchen and dmov is waiting for the right time to drop it the steel is going to come through uh, from the rooftop down into the kitchen and this will now drop. allow team bko to have great height advantage and look at that mickey trying to solo out the fights uh, doing tons of damage onto bone won't be able to get healed up just yet here situation looking for his entry but it's gremlin and op that go down first just up to mickey who retained uh height advantage he's gonna back off for the fight here and try to stay alive while his team can coin in and look at how stable yappers is in this position if you're running triple shotgun comp this is the ideal setup for you to be in right now because remember the other team has to push into you and if you have Full short range advantage that burst damage that you were talking about well it's hard to compete with that stars yeah and i completely agree i think it's a mistake for them trying to set up on top here i think they just need to play on top of that platform on top of the i, I want to call it the counter yeah i'll call it the counter right here because they, the way you had it set up they were bunkering down really strong here i don't think playing up top is the move they can but I don't think it is, because remember, BKO, Burtz, they like to play vertical here. They like to go up, down, rather than the other way around. Never mind. It looks like they're doing a full cavalry charge straight in, taking the rooftop here, breaking the APS of Yappers. But where's Yappers? Coming in from behind them. The steel is coming through. Are Yappers able to stop it? No. Treason going get it going down, and Gremlins able to get a steal. Oh, and the slam's coming through as well. He's going to be able to take out Bone oh! and Demov as well. Gremlin. Not only the steal before the team wipe, but then the team wipe immediately after the steal. Yappers is getting shut out here. And this is very, very scary to be in if you're Yappers because they had full control over that cash out for so long. And now on the precipice uh, of match chilling. point, on the precipice of getting knocked out of the entire tourney, oh, Yappers needs to get the next cash out or it's all oh, over. Oh, oh, oh. Stars, it is so incredibly close right now. And so this means that we will be seeing Yappers at the absolute top of their game. No minor mistakes will come through at this point in time. They need to make sure it doesn't happen. Right now, they retain control of the cash out or of the vault, but will they be able to get it into the cash Cash out. We see oh, Oppenheimer man. approaching. He gets the kill onto on the situation. And Gremlin on the sidelines catches Dimov off guard. Gonna be able to do a little bit of damage here. Damage will be returned to Gremlin, but not enough to be able to counteract what's happening. We will see Dimov surviving just a little bit longer. He will get his res as situation coins back in. But the cash out not started yet the vault closer and closer to the cash out c yeah it's just so cool to see 
both these teams just go right at it. We're going to go ahead and start seeing a rotate here from Gimlin. It looks like they're going to go ahead and take C. They go ahead and put it in. Dimov and Yappers taking rooftop here. They're going to go ahead for their own top-down approach and version clear. And just going back to the hot going back to the hospital ward i just want to say like they i don't understand why gappers is not playing more straightforward they, they when they have cash out they have the manpower to just hold strong especially with all because they have to the other team has to push into them i'm just trying to exactly. figure out why why they're just trying to get fancy go for flanks oh when that's huge not needed. damage gonna be coming through right now from demov onto gremlin and gremlin is gonna go out demov at half hp will gremlin be able to get res as oppenheimer goes down trying to find that res mickey has to leave this is exactly what you wanted to see the straightforward approach they find their way in they are able to separate gremlin from the team and as oppenheimer goes for the res he gets caught off guard the steel gonna come through for yappers and it all comes down to this one final team fight as BKO gets ready to approach. Gremlin and Oppenheimer coining back in. Mickey ready on the fight to get this glitch barrel inserted into the Yappers and get the fight started. Let's see what Demov has uh, cooking. Yeah, As Yappers pass, pass. Just, just, try yeah, to find their, find try to find where the fight's coming from. Looking like an absolute mirror match as BKO approaches from the top. Gremlin in from the side. Where will they uh, find the open? Where will they find the entrance? Yappers. Oh, they, they don't know. For the fight to collapse in. Oh, what? Wait, but BKO, they first don't first. see it. But Gremlin starts off strong. It's Situation that goes down first. Bone at half HP. Gremlin gets healed back up. Situation oh unable God, to get rest God. and his bone goes down. He's lived. Demov, He's lived. And it's down to this. Demov is alive, but the steel is coming through. Can he stop the steel in oh, time? He He's going to be able to get it. The steel goes through. He gets the kill. He pops the gas, but he's got a team wipe. And that's it. A 2-0. Oh, oh BKO. no. BKO. Wait. BKO. That's BKO. And that's a win. A 2-0. For BKO, the comeback is real as Yappers originally defeating BKO in the winner's semifinal, sending them to the lower bracket. We now see BKO in a 2-0 sweep coming through to eliminate Yappers. That is a wild comeback arc. No, and... You got your grand finals. You got what you want. You got your FG GF. <laughs> and if you get and if you get a girlfriend after the grand finals, you gotta add an extra GF at the end there too. <laughs> it's it's an FG GF GF to say the least. This is insane. The coveted Burts versus BKO grand final. Guys, this was such an insane match to watch. And I just got to give credit to Yappers for coming all the way through, almost making it to the grand final. Such an unfortunate way to get knocked out of the tourney. But uh, again, when you're switching up your composition, you're switching up your play style at the very last second, I guess they just did not have enough time to get used to the the nuances and micro plays that they needed to make yeah. in order to to actually get the best adjustment possible. But it, you got to give them credit for trying something as crazy as that. Yeah, no, and I feel like the double barrel of Demol worked significantly better than going charge and slam for him. I feel like the minute he went charge and slam, it kind of just lost that nuance they had. They didn't have that that entry damage that they they were getting with the light. Like they, whenever they would go, they would have teleporter. He would toss up the gateway so that way his team spawns in, and he would do opening damage. So while the, the other team was distracted looking at that gateway, he would be able to do opening damage, take the attention off of his team, and now it's just a free team wipe at that point. But without the light, he wasn't able to do that. They had to be more straightforward, like we, we were watching right there, and they just couldn't do that, especially when they had to defend. It's just so crazy to see the the absolute difference in play styles that have been coming out in this grand finals. These teams know what is on the line and they know that they want it. There is an absolutely insane prize pool here that these players are after and it is going to be everything right now. I am excited for what's coming and we will get our grand finals between Burts and BKO.
right after this break. Maybe help. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. 